Hi there, welcome back to our channel. Hope you're doing well during this difficult time. Today, let's look at another question, ethma. This is a relatively basic question, but still, you may want to pause at times to think about it. We will be analyzing its linguistic patterns together, and then you can have a go at the questions yourself. The answers will be reviewed later in the video. Before we start, let's talk about Adma. Adma is an Oceanic language spoken in part of Vanuatu. According to the Wikipedia, there are about 7,800 native speakers, and this ranks it the fifth largest vernacular language in Vanuatu. So, without further ado, let's start cracking the question. Here we are given two columns of sentences. The left column is Atma, and the right column is the translated sentences in English. Same as always, the first thing we want to do is to see if we can find any similarities between the sentences in Atma and their translations, so we can find the patterns. I noticed that the entire first sentence is included in the second one in the exactly same form. The first one is, he drinks water. And the second one is, the child keeps drinking water. What this tells me is that the verbs here keep their original form when they become gerund. If you don't know, gerund is a doing form of a verb that can function like a noun in a sentence. For example, drinking in the second sentence is a gerund. Also, given that the question says there's no separate word for the or he in those Atma sentences, we can infer from the first sentence that one of Muamni and Silang will be water, and the other means drink. But how do we know? To find out, first thing I would do is to look at other sentences for hint. I highlighted the English word water in all of the sentences, and all of the corresponding sentences in Atma have the word slang. Therefore, I'll drop down my notes, slang equals to water, and accordingly, Mwamni will be drink. What else can we tell from the first sentence? Notice that as seen in the first sentence, the, the object is after the verb. We can guess that in all of the sentences, same rule applies. To prove that, we can look at the following sentences. The common part in the next three sentences is child, and we can see the same word new to present in all of the three Atma sentences. It is therefore reasonable to infer that new to basically means child, and also we can confirm the grammar rule that subject is placed before the verb, and the verb is followed by the object. I personally find it helpful to make a table and write down words in Atma in English, so make sure you collect those Atma words and the translations as we go in the table so that we can use them later. I have color coded some words. You may want to pause here and summarize them too. While I was comparing sentences and color coding the words, I noticed the modifiers like down, up, and here. They are always placed at the end of the sentence after the object, and the word here is a tricky one. If you look at the gray parts I have highlighted, you can see that more rob means run. So from the fifth sentence, we can see that more ma is here. In the third last Atma sentence, there's also more ma but the word here is not explicitly stated in the translated sentence. In this question, whether or not a word is clearly stated does not matter so much, but it's good for us to start forming the habit to notice those nuances so that we are better prepared for more challenging questions. Good news is, verbs in the examples are all in present tense so we don't have to worry. However, we will come across changing tenses at some point when doing harder questions. 
Now we're fully equipped. Let's see the questions. Feel free to pause here to take a closer look. All we need to do actually is just to put the words in like jigsaws, following the grammar. Again, I find it helpful to color code first. The main grain parts are the subject, baby blue, the verbs, color pink the object, and yellow the modifiers. Those components might not be all present at the same time in the sentence, but don't worry, that doesn't change the orders of the rest of the components. For example, if there's no object, you may just omit the object part and go from subject, verb to modifier. Again, feel free to pause and have a go yourself before I review the answers. Check your answers. Are those what you get? Perfect! If you find any part confusing, please don't hesitate to tell us in the comments so we can help. So let's move on to the next one. Now the questions ask us to translate Atma into English. Again, feel free to pause and have a go yourself. Answer time. Check your answers and tell us your thoughts. Hopefully you have enjoyed the video and we hope to see you very soon.